Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Veronica back at it again with another video. If you are new here, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and just hit that subscribe button for me. I have a goal to reach. I want to reach 10,000 subscribers at the end of this year. I know it's a big goal, but it's my goal. Um, but yeah, let us get into this video. Now, if you've clicked on this video, I'm assuming you want to transfer money from your PayPal directly into your bank account in less than 24 hours. And guys, I've tried this. It has worked for me. And I was just so shocked. The fact that it was so quick and so fast, it was just amazing. Um, so yeah, we all know that Basically, if you're in South Africa, we know that the main way to transfer money from your PayPal into your bank account, whichever bank account you're using, is through FNB. So, yeah, um, something basically actually happened with my FNB account, and I've been trying to retrieve it, but unfortunately, I couldn't. And they said I would have to go to the branch and get fixed, and I was like... I don't have time for that. I don't have time for that. So I was looking for quick ways to get my money into my account because I needed my money as in yesterday. Uh, you guys probably know that a few months ago, I had actually uh, discovered another app called Abella, but their PayPal system had shut down. So they also had like a 24-hour system, but their PayPal isn't working at the moment, unfortunately. Um, but yeah, we'll see when they're back. I'll hopefully try to use it and see if it works. But anyways, I discovered this website called Elk Fund. So it's called Elk Funds as in E-L-K-F-U-N-D-S. So you just go to your Google, type in Elk Funds. It comes, it pops right up. Okay, so once it's gotten in, you just go on to the sign up, right? Especially if you're a new user, you don't have an account yet, just go into the sign up. Put in your details, your first name. If your first name is Veronica, your last, you put in your last name and then you put in your email address as well. And then you also put in your username and then you create a password. You confirm the password. This code is basically the numbers that you're seeing here. That's the code you enter the, um, yeah. And it's that simple. And then you register. Once you are done registering, guys, it's really that easy. Once you're in, you're in. No questions asked right? They might ask you for like a confirmation code that you're going to get from your email address and that's it. So just make sure you use a valid email address, right? So once you're in, this is how it's going to look like. This is basically how it's going to look like, guys. This is going to be a dashboard. And mind you, it looks quite the same when you are in, um, when you're using your phone as when you're using the laptop. So it looks quite the same it's nothing scary it's gonna look exactly like this so when you want to transfer your funds from paypal to your bank account so there's even a how to there you can click on that how to withdraw from paypal and they give a clear explanation guys they give a very clear explanation but if you're a visual learner like me um you know, you basically, that's why I'm assuming you're watching the video, but they're clear steps. Go to deposit, select PayPal, select the amount you want to withdraw, um, you know, and on and on and on. But I'm basically going to show you a visual step or visual representation of what I am basically doing. Okay, so guys, when you're here, you just go to deposit right at the top there. Once you're in deposit, guys, you basically go to PayPal because that's what you're there for. Oh, and you can also use this website to withdraw Bitcoin for those of you guys who have Bitcoin. So you can even see the limit. It's 100 Rand up to 50,000 Rand. So if you have like about 50,000 Rand, I think about maybe $5,000, um, you can definitely withdraw that in less than 24 hours. Then you say top up now. You, so here, guys, you put in the amount that you're going to pay, right? You put in the amount that you're going to pay or that you'd like to withdraw, basically. So I'm going to type in the minimum, which is 100 Rand, right? And I say submit. I don't know what you 
Okay, guys, so once you've uh, hit that PayPal from deposits, when you click on PayPal, it's going to give you this deposit preview, right? So when you're on this deposit preview page, basically, it shows the amount, the minimum amount that you said. Now, the only problem that I have with this site, you guys, the only problem, the charges are insane. The charges are just like out of this world so basically for you to get your 100 rands they're gonna charge you 15 rands right they're gonna charge you 15 rands and then i think now what you're gonna pay is this uh 8.4 so that's 8.4 dollars i was a bit confused by the explanation i think if there's one thing that I didn't like about this website is how they explain the charges. So they say what you must pay. Make sure this amount is lower than the amount that you have in your PayPal. Otherwise, PayPal will ask for a card because this is the amount you need to pay to get in rands. So basically, just make sure that the amount that you want to withdraw, if you want to withdraw 100 rand, make sure that in your PayPal account in dollars, because usually the PayPal account has dollars, right? That amount must be more than a hundred rand. So how much is a hundred rand right now? Maybe about five, six dollars. So make sure you just have more than that. So what I do now is I click on pay now. So immediately it's going to take you either to a screen where you're going to log into your PayPal. Um, so now I think I'm going to just log into my PayPal guys. I'm sorry about my network. It's just a bit slow. Um, but yeah so basically you're just gonna log into your paypal and then from there if you have if your money is less right you're gonna have to pay with your card but if you have i mean if your money is more the money that you want to withdraw is more than your paypal amount which is crazy because why would you be doing that but if it's less you just pay with your paypal with your paypal money and i'm gonna show you that in a second as to how that whole thing works oh my gosh now they want me to click on the buses like i am not a robot guys uh, i hate this taste like these computers are the robots and then they be out here treating us like robots next let me just hide this oh my goodness no i'm not a robot okay so yeah we're gonna be in my paypal soon guys feel free to drop me some funds in my paypal you know if you like this video and you've learned something from it i receive <laughs> i receive so just give me a second it's just gonna lock into my paypal i think i'll just have to cut this video because all this waiting things are just nonsense um So yeah, guys, here we are, right? Here we are. So we are into my PayPal. Now, as you can see, <laughs> I have kind of taken all my money in my PayPal. So I don't have funds in my PayPal. So I could have used this, but it's definitely going to decline at some point. But essentially what you do, right, is if i did have like about five dollars i'll just click on continue but i won't continue here because now it's gonna be like oh your card declined yada 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 and i'm not gonna use my money in my bank account guys like uh, -uh i do not have money to waste um but essentially that's what you do right so after you've done that you just go back well, you don't go back after you've paid it's going to lead you to the right place um and then you won't really have to worry about any of that situation okay guys um i'm sorry i kind of skipped that part because as i said i don't have enough funds but i think i'll do this tutorial again i think i'll be expecting some money soon in my paypal so i'm going to do this tutorial again but basically when you click ok and it allows you to now you've paid the paypal uh, money that I said you ha you should pay basically that amount comes into your elk funds right account it comes into your elk funds account and then you basically just come here 
you put in the amount that you want from your elk funds accounts and then you can choose your bank you see guys it goes into any okay guys so basically um when you have paid into your paper when you have paid the amount that they've asked you um from your paper you'll even see the amount will be deducted from your paypal account and then it's going to come into your elk funds account so basically elk funds is like your online bank account so it comes from your paypal account to your elk funds account to your actual bank account so um, these are the bank accounts available. So you have the amount right here. So once it has come into your uh, Elk Funds account, the, am uh, the amount that is going to come into your Elk Funds account is that amount that you requested initially. So remember, we chose 100 Rand. So that's how much I'm going to have in my Elk Funds account. So essentially, here I'll just type in 100 Rand, right? I'll choose my bank. So this is the lovely thing about this. So whether you're APSA, Bitvest, Capitec, NetBank, you know, um, whether you have Mkuru, like anything, Time Bank, guys, it's just so simple. You choose your bank. I'm with APSA, I'm an APSA baby. Uh, but yeah, so basically I choose the bank account, right? I choose the bank account and then I enter my account number. Guys, just make sure that your account number is right. I think my biggest fear when withdrawing money is that, oh my gosh, what if I put in the wrong account number? So just make sure your account number is right. And then you type in yes. Once you've typed in yes, then you just withdraw balance, right? So it says here, I see this note here. It says limit 50 rands uh, to 100,000 rands per transaction. You'll be charged 5% plus 10 rand service fee. <sighs> so the, guys this is the whole situation that i had mentioned from the beginning this is my problem with this website the charges are insane guys i don't think i can even explain it's just a lot so i withdrew 150 yesterday um and i ended up getting 132 rand um but yeah for my paypal it was about like 12 dollars so you guys can understand from withdrawing about 12 dollars to getting 150 to now you know it, it to now it coming into my account as 132 rand like they just deduct a whole lot of money but you know what if you just want money like now today it does the job well not today but if you like withdraw like today like the time right now is like 10 o'clock basically it's 10 p.m at night your money will be in your account at 10 p.m tomorrow um, so yeah, guys, that is all from me. Uh, let me just go and end this video, but yeah, don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. If you've learned something new, I'm pretty sure everybody has learned something new and this app, it's really legit guys by tomorrow. If you check your app, the money, your banking app, the money will be in your account. So yeah, see you guys in the next tutorial. I hope you enjoyed this video.